getting ready to host your first home SEC weekend. Yeah, excited to get back home. Excited to, to uh, get in front of our, our fans again. Um, it'll be a tremendous weekend of baseball. It'll be an outstanding crowd, uh, a lot of excitement, a lot of energy in the ballpark. Um, to get home and, and, and you know back into SEC play in, here in Starkville, we're looking forward to it. And you know we're going to use last weekend in Fayetteville as, as a learning experience and, and hopefully grow from that as a team. Um, we got into two really good competitive ball games there on Friday night and Saturday night. Um, came out on the short end of the stick of those games, but I feel like you know we're getting better. We're we're close to getting it. Um, got into another really good game Tuesday night in Pearl against an outstanding Southern Mississippi baseball team, um, and 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 you know fell down seven nothing early in the ball game there, and um, you know just battled back and battled back and end up losing the ball game seven five and you know, had a chance to win the ball game or tie the game up in the eighth, and their third baseman makes a tremendous play. So proud of the way our, our guys have been fighting. Um, you know, we're going we're gonna to learn how to win these close ball games, and, and we're looking forward to kind of getting that started this weekend back at home. I guess the obvious question is update some health situations as well as some uh, suspensions on the team. Um, health situations. We'll be without Hunter Stovall again this weekend. Um, you know, the best thing for Hunter is just to – you know, get treatment on his hamstring. We feel like it's getting closer. It's getting closer to being back out on the field, being able to play at full speed again. Um, Josh Lovelady is fully available. Uh, played what really well for us Tuesday night. Um, let's see, who else are you looking for? Um, it's been hurt. Uh, Rigby's been hit Ryan Rigby. Okay, Rigby will be uh, will be without Ryan Rigby again this weekend. Um, should have some answers on his health pretty soon. Um, we'll be without Blake Smith this weekend. Um, we'll know something definite with him really soon as well. Um, other than that, we're going to continue to put the guys out on the field that are available to us, and we're looking forward to getting uh, back into SEC play, and it's going to be a really competitive, fun weekend. Is everybody else still available this week? Um, everybody else is still available. We'll go into the same, um, you know, everybody will be available. Jake Mangum will, back, will be back with us. Mm -hmm. Uh, this weekend, he was at practice yesterday, so he'll play center field and lead off tomorrow night against Tennessee. And I'm um, looking forward to, to him being the All-American that he has been for a year and a half now and excited to get him back in the lineup. What's the status of Ryan Sear? Uh, Ryan Sear has been dismissed from the baseball program uh, for a violation of team rules. And you probably hear another kind of question on the line, maybe, but Eli and things. Is he sure, still Eli there? will not be with us again this weekend, okay. and um, we'll just move forward. Is he um, still catching in the bullpen? Uh, he is not. Okay. He is not. He is. Um, we'll be without Eli okay. right now. Is it kind of tough right now to keep everybody's spirits up with the injuries and suspensions and, and <laughs> sure, kind there's of the a, There's a lot of things, things like that that, uh, that that kind of take your focus away from you know wanting to put your best night out on the field and wanting to get into action. So. Um, you know, you just got to do a really good job of compartmentalizing all the different things that pop up. I mean, uh, we've got an outstanding young baseball team that's continuing to get better by the day. Um, you know, we've, we've had an outstanding pre-conference schedule, and our guys are getting better. We're playing so many competitive teams right now really close, and uh, we've kind of just taken it upon ourselves to keep fighting. Yeah. Don't give up. Keep fighting. Keep throwing punches. And that's one of the things that we're going to continue to do. And I feel good about our team right now. I feel good about this upcoming weekend. Excited to, uh, to play a really good, competitive uh, Tennessee team that's going to be coached extremely well by Dave Serrano, who's done it for a really long time. These guys kind of play the same type of style of baseball that we do. They're really aggressive on the base paths. They like to put pressure on the defense. They've got an outstanding young pitching staff with a lot of velocity. Um, so it's just the next weekend of SEC play. It really doesn't matter who you play in this league. Everybody is so competitive. Everybody is so talented. So it doesn't matter if it's Ole Miss or Arkansas or Tennessee or LSU or anybody else in the league. You have to approach every weekend in this league uh, with the utmost respect. Anybody is capable of beating anybody on any given day. Um, you could look at the first weekend and say there were a lot of quote-unquote upsets in the league, but – the reality is they're not upsets. Everybody in this league is outstanding. Everybody is extremely well coached. 
everybody has outstanding pitching. So um, you just need to be playing well. You need to take care of all the details, do all the little things well every single day to give yourself the best chance to win every single ball game in this league. Is the rotation still uh, Pilkington, Plumlee, TBA? Um, we're just going to go Pilkington on Friday night and then go TBA the rest of the weekend. Okay. Um, you know, we've, we've um, got some really important bullpens that guys are going to throw today. Um, and we're just continuing to look for guys to get better. We need guys to take steps forward. We need guys to get better on the mound. We need guys to get better in the batter's box. We need guys to get better defensively and running the base running. And it's a young team, and, and we're getting after it every single day at practice. And like I keep saying, like we're getting better. We're getting better. We're playing so many close, tough ball games right now. Um, the outcome has been frustrating at the end for us because we've come out on the short end of so many close ball games, but I really believe we're getting closer and closer to winning these games. And, you know, it's a matter of putting ball in play with two strikes, cutting down your strikeouts, executing a pitch in a pressure situation, starting a double play when you have the opportunity to get out of an inning that you don't execute, and then it leads to two more additional runs in that inning type of thing. Backing up the right base, not going brain dead on the field, just all the little things that we need to continue to get better at um, and once we kind of clean up all those things and start playing a complete nine innings of competitive baseball, we're going to start winning these close games. And I've got a lot of confidence in our guys that we're going to start doing that, and, and we're getting better every day. With all the setbacks and hiccups on and mm -hmm. off the field, are you encouraged how the team has handled all this? Yeah, I really have been. We've got an outstanding group of um, – there's not a lot of them, but there's several older veteran players that do a great job of leading our team. Josh Lovelady has been phenomenal, Brent Rooker and Ryan Gridley – you know, just bring that veteran presence to our team every single day, whether it's on the practice field, whether it's in pregame speeches and meetings, those kind of things. And, you know, really within this last week to two weeks, I've really wanted those guys to take a bigger step in terms of controlling the clubhouse, you know, trying to apply the things that we're talking about and, and, and having those guys kind of take some accountability for some leadership roles and um, those are the things that I want to see out of those guys. All those guys have been through the battles of the SEC and know what it takes to win in this league. And those, that's the message that I want those older guys relaying to the younger kids that are out on the field every single day for us. And there's an expectation here that comes, you know, when you come to Mississippi State, when you coach at Mississippi State, you want to do everything you can to represent the previous tremendous amount of history that's come with this program and our young guys are learning that every day that it takes your very best effort your undivided attention every single day to have the type of success that you want to have and you can't just bring it some days you have to bring it every single day to be as great of a player you can be individually and once we get all nine guys out on the field playing that particular way every single day we'll start winning all these close ball games kind of asked you this Tuesday, but to clarify, the last two Sundays kind of pieced together mm -hmm. games in an inning or two at yeah, a time. Sure. Do you think you're likely to do that again this weekend? I think there's a high probability that right. that could happen. Um, you know, all the, the Sunday matchups kind of depend on what happens Friday night and what happens on Saturday. I wish we had a healthy staff where I could give you guys Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, and Tuesday. And we do too. this is my closer. This is our setup guy. This is our long, this is our middle relief guy. This is our left on left specialist. All those kind of things I dream about as a head coach, wanting those guys in that role. But the reality is we, we just, we're not deep enough to be able to do that. And so it's all hands on deck every single day we take the field and who feels good and who who hasn't thrown too many pitches lately and those kind of things. And we, we are piecing this thing together. Gary Henderson has done a tremendous job with um, using the available bullets that we have in every particular day. And, you know, sometimes there's there's things that are happening out on the field where you're saying, okay, you know, um, the, the the move right now is to is to get this guy out before he faces another two batters or two or – you know, but then the reality is there's nobody else right now that we could go get because they're not available today because they threw too much yesterday or they threw too much two days ago. And the last thing you want to do is put stress on young kids' arms. So, you know, there's a, been a lot of opportunities this year where I would love to go to the pen and, 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 and get a guy. And But the reality is you, you have to be able to leave that guy out on the mound to navigate that jam because the guys that you want to go get – have thrown too much the previous days. And it's just when you have that shorter pitching staff right now, 
you've got to allow guys to kind of get into some jams and got to try to find a way to get out of jams to make it through 27 innings on a weekend or the 36 innings in a weekend that we played the first four weekends of the season. So all of that being the case, yep. what are some of the challenges of managing a bullpen in a situation where you're kind of piecing together? Yeah, the, the biggest time? challenge is, is something that I stand by is, is I'm not going to overuse guys. I'm not going to burn out Spencer Price. I'm not going to burn out Riley Self. Those are the two guys that have been locked down in the back end of the bullpen for us, but you can't go to those guys every single day. I'm not and will not overuse those guys. So other guys on our staff have to be able to step up and carry those innings and have to be able to go get guys out. I mean, I want to do everything I can to prolong guys' careers and, and allow them to pitch into their 20s and have long professional careers. And the last thing I'm looking to do is to go to the whip on these young arms the first 20 games of the year and just use them and use them and use them. I'm not going to do that. So it creates opportunities for other guys to be able to go get outs, to be able to go get innings. And when they have their opportunity, they need to make the most of it. So guys are earning jobs and, and, and getting outs and, and showing me what they can do. Some guys are showing me what they can't do. But for right now, those guys are going to continue to go out to the mound because there's just not that many guys that are available every given day for us. Speaking of self, he's good, right? Self is good. He is good to go. Um, you know, he was on a shorter pitch count last weekend, which was his first time back out on the mound. Uh, so we kind of wanted to get him into the game and, you know, was hoping to look, you know, use him when we were up later in the game, but just didn't have a chance to do that last weekend in Arkansas. So we got him into the game. I think he went an inning and change, get him in, get him out. He felt great about it. He felt really good. So he'll be fully go, full available for this weekend against Tennessee. You, you said Tuesday that you're moving Gridley and Rooker up. And sure. Two and three holes behind sure. Angle 1 to give yep. them more ABs. Absolutely. What's, what are your ideas at 4, 5, and 6? Um, <laughs> um, you know, I thought McNamee had some really good at-bats the other day. Cody Brown had some really good at-bats uh, the other day. Uh, Luke Alexander, for the most part, has given us competitive at-bats during the course of the season. Um, so any kind of combination of those guys, four, five, six, is probably something that we're going to go do, and we'll try to match it up the best uh, we can depending on who we're facing from Tennessee and what that guy's strengths are compared to what those particular hitters do well. So it's a constant mix and matching of, of things. We're trying to put our best team out on the field every single day to help us uh, win the ballgame.